Young people don't want to hear me today, but open your ears and listen to me. Go ahead. I'm talking to you. Go ahead. Obey your parents in the law. Yes. For it is right. Yes. Yes. You got to honor Amen. mother and father because they were here before you. Yes. What you're going through now, they've already passed through it. Right. Go ahead. Oh, shun the Lord. Go Holy Ghost want me to speak in this house yes. because any dissemination. I need the former, and the former needs the latter. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Amen. Spirit of the living God. And he works in the former, and he works in the latter. But God is not relegated or stuck in the latter, right. nor is he right. stuck in the former. Right. He is God all by himself. Go ahead. Oh, God. Help me now. It is an imperative then that we understand that God will always raise up a contemporary mind to deal with contemporary issues. Yes, go ahead. Lord help me. A mind that has the requirements to tackle an advanced world. Former, God will always raise up the ladder to speak to that generation. Right. For if the former tries to speak to that generation, they will not listen. Right. Mm. Nor will they understand their language. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Lord, you give it to me, I'm just going mm -hmm. Watch this. In order for God to deliver the old message of salvation, he needs a contemporary for such a one knows how to present the message in that language. Right. right. Go ahead. So when the former is getting angry because the latter is coming up, they're fools. We have many pastors. When God raised up the contemporary one to do a work, they try to suppress them and beat them down. But God, you can't speak to them. You can't speak to that generation. How are you, your past? Way past an age, how are you going to speak to the new generation? David anointed Solomon to be co king with him so that he can transition the kingship to him. Oh, God, help me this one. This is what's going on. There's a big fight going on inside between the old and the young. I've discerned the Holy Ghost have told me. Big fight going on in the house of God. Someone don't let go of power, and some are fighting to get the power. It's a pollen war going on. But God said this is foolishness. Foolishness in the house of God. Why are you battling for something that's not yours? The church belongs to Jesus Christ. He shed his blood for no time of war between the young and the old. Build on each other. Yes. 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 in this house. God, brethren, brethren. Oh, Go ahead. Things are moving so rapidly that the latest technology, even before it is released, it is like a relic. Amen. Things are moving so quickly. Minds are evolving so fast that the phone or the latest gadget that they release, it is already a relic. Before it even comes out. So the language of the ladder is so complex that it's a near impossibility for the former to even communicate with them. And we were looking a few weeks ago at the students' language on text messages. They have created a whole different language. I, I try to look at it and I said, I can't read this. Er, you are your, you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting old. I'm like, er, boo, boo. I said, I can't read this. They have created a whole new technological language that is nearly impossible to speak to them. So God raised up someone from out of themselves who is taught by the former. Right? Right? Up in that generation to speak to that generation. Go 
salvation about the same old salvation and the same old God. Oh, God, I, uh, Jesus said something powerful. He said, I have come that he may have life. I, I, I have come that he may have life and that he may have it more abundantly. Uh, uh, he didn't say I've come for one generation or right. another. He, he didn't say, he said, he said, I've come that you, generalized, may all have life and have it more abundantly. The zeal should be that all souls should come to repentance. Not that I should conform, one should conform to me. this morning. I come to tear down the war that's going on in the churches. I come to fight it. I come to tear it down. When the Holy Ghost says, give me a word to tear it down. Too much fighting. Too much power struggle for something that does not belong. Does not belong to either the former or the latter. The Holy Ghost said, I am in the midst of my church. I walk in the midst of my church. It is my church. I tie to it. It does not belong to any pastor, any leader, any evangelist, any doctor. It does not belong to them. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. Upon this rock, I build my church. And the gates are here. If you are fighting in the church, you are brought the gates of hell in. Oh, shun the Lord. You are the gate of hell. If you come to the house to fight, you are hell. Hell has used you to penetrate the church. There is a feeling of being threatened. 
I saw the young people are coming in to take over. And don't get too excited, young people. God has the remedy for that too. There is a feeling like I'm losing power. I'm losing control. And these young people will let the devil come in. And so the former holds so tight to it because they say we are afraid that if we let go that the young people will destroy the church. But did you not hear what Jesus said? Jesus said upon the rock I gates of hell will never that's it. Hello, somebody. That's it. What we find is that the old people are afraid to lose their congregation. Right. Right. It's true. The congregation. I'm just talking to you, Lord. They're afraid now to lose what they have built. They're not necessarily concerned about the church, but they're concerned about the building and the edifice that they. I, I'm, 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 I'm just talking to you. They're concerned now about losing what they have labored to build. But God said, if a man labor without God, he labors in vain. So if you're doing it with the wrong motive, it shall not stand. The minute you die, it's gone. Can I just talk to you? Yes. That generation then, which can be likened to my predecessors, don't know how to deal with the sword that God has placed in their hands to fight the demons of my generation. My generation is called the internet generation. The former don't, they don't have a clue of who they are. Can I speak to you some more? They don't know what they possess in their hand. I am reminded after that the foundation of the temple was built that the young men began to rejoice when they saw the foundation laid of the new temple. But the Bible said while they were rejoicing, the old man starts to cry. They were weeping and they were crying. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. But God spoke a word to Haggai. He said, Haggai, let the people know, don't get it twisted. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former house, saith God. They were weeping because of the glory of Solomon's temple. But it was their inept behavior that caused it to be destroyed. Well, I'm just talking. The former cried. I want you to walk with me. The younger are rejoicing. And the former are weeping. What's wrong with you, man? Well, if you saw the old church becoming sentimental and not sensible, oh Lord Jesus, the old man becomes sentimental, says the demon, and not sensible. They are crying. Because the temple was more beautiful. Not realizing that God's mercy moved them to raise up what they destroyed. The young people said, look, God has had mercy on the Israel. And is raising up another place where he can dwell. Where we can meet him. And they start to rejoice. But as opposed to being sensible, the old man becomes very sensible. 